Each of you is likely familiar with the products of the company we're going to discuss today, whether you realize it or not. We're talking about the Russian company Promobot, the largest manufacturer of autonomous service robots in Russia and Europe. The company is involved in the development of mechatronics, electronics, artificial intelligence and neural networks, autonomous navigation, speech recognition, and the creation of artificial skin and muscles, as well as exploring human-machine interaction. To understand the scale of their work, consider that the company's engineers have already created and delivered over 800 robots to more than 40 countries. Robots will take on tasks that are dirty, dangerous, and dull, says Promobot founder and director of development Oleg Kivakurtsev. He specifically highlights customer service, which is where the company's focus lies, as one of the dull areas. Over the past five years, Promobot has released seven models of robotic machines. However, what truly sets their robots apart from competitors is their incredible realism, which engineers have diligently worked on. The company continues to improve the artificial skin and muscles of its robotic inventions. Promobot robots already utilize around 30 servo drives, allowing them to replicate 600 different facial expressions. But since the human face has 42 muscles, the goal is to get closer to that number to achieve maximum realism. The process of creating Promobot robots is also incredibly fascinating, but we'll cover that in future videos. Today we will showcase some of the company's most famous and advanced robots in recent years that are already replacing humans. When you visit an office for documents, you won't see live people soon, because robots will take their place. In one of Moscow's centers, Colleagues have already appeared who can answer visitors' frequently asked questions and provide information about public service center projects. These robots were created by the Russian company Promobot. Robots Alex and Dasha sit at the same desk, welcoming and consulting visitors to the center. Interaction with the robots happens through a unified interface. One camera, one microphone array, and a touchscreen display. To speak with them, you simply need to address them by name and ask your question. The robots can independently recognize a person's face and voice before initiating interaction. This allows them to collaborate and share responsibilities. Additionally, the robots can converse with each other. Dasha and Alex can move their eyes, eyebrows and lips, and can reproduce over 600 variations of human micro-expressions. Promobot claims that this is the highest number of micro-expressions for human-like robots in the world. The Arnold Schwarzenegger robot created by the Russian company Promobot is an impressive technological development. This android bears a striking resemblance to the famous actor and former California governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. The robot has been showcased at various exhibitions, including the Synergy Global Forum and CES 2020. The android can move its eyes, eyebrows, lips, and neck, as well as engage in conversation. Its face is capable of displaying over 600 variations of micro-expressions, making it highly realistic. To achieve this level of precision, Promobot specialists developed and patented a unique facial structure and used advanced artificial skin technology. However, the unauthorized use of Schwarzenegger's likeness has led to legal issues. The actor filed a lawsuit against Promobot, demanding $10 million in compensation and a ban on using his likeness. The lawsuit claims that the company repeatedly showcased the robot at public events despite requests to cease doing so. Recently, a new show robot called R1 has made its debut in Russia captivating audiences at every event it participates in. This robot is designed for performances, but can also serve as an entertainment figure in shopping malls, supermarkets, exhibitions, and other similar venues. R1 has an android structure, standing at 230 centimeters tall and weighing 150 kilograms. The creators of the robot describe it as a singer, actor, DJ, and a humorous character aimed at turning any event into a unique technological show. The robot's entire functionality, including lights, LEDs, sounds, and movements,
can be pre-programmed according to a schedule or manually triggered during a performance. R1 speaks multiple languages, dances to music, interacts with the audience, entertaining them with constant jokes and even mimics famous artists. This interaction is accompanied by gestures and changes in emotional expressions. The Russian robot Arty has created a music track titled Robot's Work. After analyzing thousands of popular songs from leading music platforms, Arty produced music in the electropop genre, blending electronic sounds with dance melodies. The single features a futuristic machine sound combined with the vocals of an anthropomorphic robot. Now the neural network, trained with advanced technologies, can create unique song lyrics for vocal parts and tailor compositions to suit the tastes of any target audience. Artie, by the way, is already accepting bookings for concerts across the country. To recap, Artie is a high-tech humanoid robot with 600 micro-expressions, achieved through the movement of its eyes, eyebrows, lips, neck, and facial muscles. It can express emotions, play, sing, and interact with people. Artie's torso and arms are designed based on human kinematics, enabling it to dance as well. At the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum 2024, the Russian company Promobot introduced a new humanoid robot named Zhenya. Zhenya is equipped with anatomically accurate movements, a wide range of micro-expressions and flexible silicone skin. The robot is dressed in a plumber's uniform with a tool bag hanging from its belt. Zhenya's skin is made of silicone, its heart is mechanical, and it operates around the clock powered by an electrical outlet. The robot is life-sized and interacts with visitors by answering questions, providing consultations on housing and utility services in the Moscow region, and even telling jokes. According to Promobot representatives, Zhenya uses the Yandex GPT-3 language model. This model generates text based on user queries, enabling the robot to respond to questions. At Innopolis University, with the help of engineers from Promobot, the creation of a robot named Gagarin is underway. The machine already has the ability to recognize emotions and respond to questions. To create Gagarin, a powerful computer with specialized software was required, along with cameras in its eyes for recognizing the person it's talking to, and 28 motors for turning its head and moving facial muscles. For now, the robot cannot gesture, as Gagarin only has a head, the work on the body is being done in a neighboring laboratory. There, the anthropomorphic robot is being taught to walk and interact with its environment. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video did you like the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.